Good morning. Just a reminder that there will be the children's meeting resuming on September 6th at 6 p.m. And that reminder that September 9th through 10th we will be, we have a booth at Riverfest. And very short announcements today, because the next thing I have to tell you is please fill out your attendance pad at the end of your queue so we know that you're with us today. <laughs> well, it looks like we've got one more, Nita. Well, we didn't get put on the, the calendar. Fuel at 10 o'clock. Fuel is back at it again. They got, remind me how many bags we did last week? 117. Last week they did 117 bags that went to St. B Elementary and Burt Elementary Schools. And so we will be bagging again this Wednesday at 10 o'clock. And I will be sure that it gets in the bulletin next week. Also, September, October upper rooms are available for pickup if you have not already picked one up. They're at both sanctuary entrances. We have both a large, large print and the small print. And most importantly, whether this is your first time or you have been attending for years, whether you're strong in your faith or you still have some questions, no matter your age, your tax bracket, your ability, or the color of your skin, no matter who you love or who loves you, you are welcome here. I invite you now to join me in our call to worship. Jesus praying for his disciples, giving them into God's eternal care. Jesus Christ. Know that you have been blessed with the love of the Savior. Open your hearts and spirits now to hear God's word. I invite you now to stand if you are able as we sing together hymn number 352, Standing in the Need of Prayer.
your strong ones, your ones who have illness, your ones near death, your ones who breeze through life, your ones who struggle in life. Jesus, pray for those who have lost loved ones, those especially those who have especially loved ones in past wars, those who have lost ones in the present wars, those who fear theirs may die in these wars. Jesus, we join you in these prayers for all your people. Amen. You may remain seated as we sing together the number 496, the hour of prayer. Today's scripture reading comes from John chapter 17, verses 15 through 25. Please stand as you are able for the reading of the gospel. I am not asking you to take them out of the world, but I ask you to protect them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to the world. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you have sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. And for their sakes I sanctify myself, so that they also may be sanctified in truth. I ask not only on behalf of these, but also on behalf of those who will believe in me through their word, that they may all be one, as you, Father, are in me and I am in you, may they also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. 
the glory that you have given me, I have given them, so that they may be one as we are one. I in them and you in me, that they may become completely one, so that the world may know that you have sent me and have loved them even as you have loved me. Father, I desire that those also whom you have given me may be with me where I am, to see my glory, which you have given me because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world does not know you, but I know you. And these know, excuse me, and these know that you have sent me. Word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Please be seated. This week's book is a little bit different than the last three weeks. We've heard when God made the world, when God made light, when God made you. But this one is written from the perspective of a parent to their child. When I pray for you, it is the prayer that is prayed after experiencing loss. It is the prayer that is prayed even before you existed. It is the prayer of hope and peace. It is the prayer prayed the night before they start kindergarten or middle school or their senior year of high school. It is the prayer for comfort. It is the prayer prayed when desperate to take their pain away. Christ has prayed over us. Christ has prayed that his word, his love, his grace might be shown through us. And this prayer, this prayer for us, this prayer for our children, it's a reminder that we never stop praying for our children, for our nieces and nephews, for our grandchildren, for the children that are not ours but we claim as our own, for the children who call us bonus mom and dad, for the children who go hungry when they're away from school. For the children who feel unsafe at home. For the children who feel unsafe at school. For the children at the border. For the children who bear adult responsibilities. For the children we lost far too soon. For the children who laugh without worry. For the children who feel safe in our arms. For all the children of the world. This is our prayer. And we pray because not only did Jesus pray over us, he taught us to pray. He gave us example. He gave us an example of how to pray for ourselves and for the world. Do not yell on street corners, but in the quiet, God hears our prayers. And so, in just a minute, as I read this book, We hear this prayer for our children, yes, because it is easy to pray for them. We also hear this prayer being prayed over us by our own parents, by our bonus parents, by our aunts and uncles, and those who claim us as their children. Because Jesus has prayed over us. 
God prays for us and with us. And so I invite you this morning to assume whatever posture of prayer makes you comfortable. Relax your shoulders. Release the tension from your jaw. Feel your feet supported by the floor. Hear this prayer being prayed for you. Hear this prayer being prayed over you by our holy parent, Abba, Father. When I Pray For You, by Matthew Paul Turner, illustrated by Kimberly Barnes. From the moment I saw you, I started to pray. Big prayers and small ones, I have sent God's way. I prayed as I held you when you sat in my lap. I prayed while we rocked as you peacefully napped. As you took your first steps and when you started to run, as I pushed you on swing sets or we skipped in the sun, I pray you felt safe, full of joy and content, that when I whispered, I love you, you knew what I meant. When you said your first word, repeating what you heard, when you moved like a cow and tweeted like a bird, when you giggled out loud or made yourself proud, to God I said thank you. To you, I said, wow. As I watched you pretend, all alone or with friends, I prayed over you again and again. Because when I pray for you, God knows this is true. Every word I whisper is a prayer for me, too. At the moment I hear you jump out of bed, I start praying that God puts good thoughts in your head. I pray when you're smiling and when you feel sad. I pray when you're sick, embarrassed, or mad. When you're kicking a ball or twirling in place, when I know what you're thinking by the look on your face, I pray you grow strong, have passion and fight, and stand up for what's good with all of your might. I pray heaven protects you, that you're generous and kind, that your brave little spirit never ceases to shine, that you believe in yourself and follow what's true, that your confidence grows just as fast as you do. As I drive you to school, while you splash the pool, as you challenge a friend to a lightsaber duel, when you open your eyes to a birthday surprise, when the joy on your face cannot be disguised, I pray you love well, that the light in you swells, that the story God writes is God writes is one that you tell. Because when I pray for you, I imagine God's view and pray all that God sees comes alive inside you. When suddenly it seems you've got me so tall, when you've grown up so much that my lap's too small, when you're glued to a screen or, a, or your bedroom's unclean. When you're no longer a child, but not yet a teen.
I'll pray when you're hyper, obnoxious, or chill. I'll pray when you're chatty and cannot sit still. When you're running relays or performing school plays, or, you some, or you're somewhere in the middle of a garage band. When you know all the answers or just think that you do, when you find out the hard way, you know less than you do. I'll pray that you choose hope, should you ever face fear, and seek wisdom with patience when the pathway is unclear. That you'll love others, that you will love others, whether strangers or friends with the same kind of love that God feels for them. When you break from your shell to stand up for yourself, and I realize you didn't ask me for help, I'll pray and I'll cheer, I'll probably shed a tear, and hopefully you know that if you need me, I'm here. Because when I pray for you, no matter what we go through, the dreams that you dream, I'll be dreaming them too. At the moment you realize it's time to explore, I'll pray God gives you wings and like an eagle will soar. I'll pray where you go, that wherever you land, you'll find purpose and meaning and a role in God's plan. That you'll know who you are and like what you do, and love yourself fully as God wants you to. I'll pray you keep shining, that God keeps refining, that your story reflects what in you God's designing. That you'll give and you'll share with compassion and care. That how you live life will to God be a prayer. Because when I pray for you, I pray that all you do brings love and brings light and helps the world shine like you. Amen. Thanks be to God. At this time, I invite our ushers forward for this morning's offering. <clears throat> Let us pray. O oh God, pour out your spirit upon these our gifts gifts that have been graciously given to us that we now humbly return to you. It will be a prayer for all the children of the world that they might know your love and grace. In Jesus' name we pray.
how joyful it is to sing together. We're going to ignore last week when I read John Leslie's rules for singing that talked about singing in time. That's okay. God still hears it, and we rejoice that we are able to sing together. We also give so much thanks for Margaret and the way she helps keep us in time. Our full prayer list can be found on the back of the bulletin as we come to our time of prayer. I have a few additional prayer requests to lift up. Clyde's mother's had a pacemaker put in this past Tuesday. The surgery went well, and he is at home recovering under the prayer quilt that was gifted to him by this congregation. Ken Kine was awaiting results last week, and they came back, and everything came back benign. And so for that, we rejoice. We also want to lift up Margaret's nephew, Jace Cuban. He was in a bad hit-and-run accident last week and has a broken sacrum hip and is dealing with some back problems. He had surgery last week to put in a rod, and he is going to be non-weight-bearing for at least three months. And so we pray for him and his family in this uncertain time. Are there any other joys or concerns this morning? Tina? With Kirby, who was a significant leader in our Boy Scout, Red Kirby, who was deeply involved in the Boy Scout troops that were here, passed away last week. You may know him as the one who was always rocking a kilt. We pray for his family in this time of loss. Are there any others? Let us pray. Holy and loving God, God who is our parent, our protector, our friend, God who prays for us and with us, we give you thanks for this day. We give you thanks for a break from the heat, for the nourishing and replenishing water of the rain. Oh God, we lift up to you our prayers. Prayers that are woven throughout our service. Prayers that are woven together to be heard by you. Oh God, we offer prayers of rejoicing for successful surgeries and excellent test results. Oh God, we also offer you prayers of fear. Fear of the unknown. Fear of what is to come. Fear of uphill battles that we face. God, we also offer to you our grief, our loss. 
loss, our loneliness. God, we offer ourselves to you. Knowing that you have prayed over us, you have prayed for us. You have instilled in us your image, your light, your call. O oh God, give us the strength to fulfill that call. The call to love one another as ourselves. The call to extend your grace. The call to extend your forgiveness. That same forgiveness you offer to us when we inevitably fall short. God, as you have prayed for us and with us, you have also taught us to pray. And together we pray the prayer Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. As we come to the close of our service this morning, I invite you to stand as you are able as we sing together hymn number 557, Bless Me the Tithe that Bind.
How are you? 